Welcome to our home and garden college edition. Yay! Wait, are we going to practice first? We're your hosts, and we are going to demonstrate our live at college lives. That's stupid. Let's just keep Let's going. just start. Okay. We can cut all this out. Okay. You ready? No. But let's go anyway. Okay. Um, welcome to Home and Garden College Edition. We are going to talk about our lives here and just give you some useful tips, whether you're in college or not here yet. Or if I'll... you like to pretend you live at college, we'll tell you how to do that too. <laughs> it's a good idea to have plants. Just make sure you take care of them and water them as we do to our Yuto, our, our, our plant. Be sure to water all of your plants, even the ones in the courtyard. A good tip for college students is to iron your clothing with straighteners. Generally this only works for female students, as male students don't often have straighteners. Sexy. It's one hair, stupid. You need to know things about laundry. Make sure when you put your clothes in the dryer to check the lint trap. Because Before and after you dry your clothes. Because a lot of people forget and it's gross. And that's a fire hazard, so... Safety first. Hey, Betsy. Hey, Echo. Do you want to go get some lunch? Sure. Okay, this way. Awesome. Oh, wait, Betsy. Did you get the keys? No! Make sure you locate your keys by the door so you don't forget to take them with you before you leave because this is your life, your love. Hey, Betsy, do you want to go get some lunch? Sure. Oh, wait, Betsy. Do you have the keys? I do now. And that's a good example. Be courteous to your roommate. Don't make noise, play music, or sing loudly while they're trying to sleep. Hey, Mom! You'll never guess what happened to me when I was on the bus today. I was, like, going along, and this crazy blonde chick was, like, oh my god, like, 40 times. Actually communicate with your roommate. Don't be afraid of your roommate. Talk to them. They will be your friend or your enemy. One of the two. Don't blame your roommate if they have to have a class in the morning. Another very good tip is to have your alarm clock or alarm a good few feet away from your bed so that you actually have to get out of your bed to turn it off. Don't leave it, have it going on for like five minutes because mm -hmm. then your roommate will wake up and it's not really fair to them when they don't want to wake up that mm -hmm. early. Have something like more pleasant than that a horrible alarm clock <coughs> sound. <coughs> oh, terrible. No. Mine is a very cute little tune. And mine's and like so dance music. It's yeah. fun. Peppy. This is my morning alarm. mine. So it's nice. It's mm -hmm. not the annoying <laughs> head bobble. Dance party. We're so cool. <laughs> we don't need much to be happy. Just yeah, a ringtone. We're, we're not typical college students. Everyone has roommate fears. That is, before you come to college, what you are afraid your roommate is going to be like. I was afraid my roommate would be a party animal, always drinking. I was afraid that my roommate would be beyond religious and constantly try to convert me. I was afraid my roommate would be really peppy and girly and have pink rainbows everywhere. I don't know, just pink rainbows, not any other color, <laughs> just have pink. We should decorate things in pink rainbows now. <laughs> How to get your roommate to clean their side of the room. If they have common courtesy, just clean your side. And then they come in and they're like, oh crap. My roommate's side is really clean. I can't. I can't let this happen. It's guilt. guilt. It's, it's guilt. <laughs> when I'm working on a project, my side, like my desk, is war zone. It's so messy, and I always tell Echo ahead of time, like I have a project due on Monday, so I'm sorry. This room is gonna be disgusting, and, have... <laughs> and you just you don't clean. It's like finals week. It's just like yeah. a tornado. But as long as you give them fair warning and you know communication, important um, communication. Yay! So much communication. So much communication here. Yeah. So much. <laughs> Something very that you definitely need to communicate with your roommate or be courteous about is having your lovers over. <laughs> oh yeah, you, we've heard horror stories. I I had a friend who her roommate and her roommate's boyfriend tried to do it while she was there because they thought she was asleep. Please don't be that girl. Be please don't be that guy. Please be courteous. Oh yeah, you don't need to bring everything to college with you. You can leave things like your giant stuffed animals, your statues of your loved ones, like 
Leave leave the like Lady Gaga statues at home. You don't need those here. College teaches you to be economical, I think, and creative with what you have. Don't be afraid to experiment, not like drug wise, but like <laughs> just like you know, being resourceful with what you have. That's I think that's an important skill to have and college kinda teaches you that. Wait, we need to tell them. Contact your roommate before you move in if this is your first time going to college because you don't want to end up with no microwave and too many fridges. Because you can... Share. And don't be so possessive of, like, you can't use my microwave. It's so much easier if you're friends. But I know that doesn't work out for everyone, but, you know, try. You know. Yeah. How someone walk by? I think that was Derek. No names, Echo. I think that was... Dimitri. <laughs> Damien. As you can see, we have a fridge, which is mine, microwave and coffee maker, which is Echo's, and then we each have stacked storage for, you know, silverware, plates, different, more food. Um, we have a rice cooker, which is nice, because you can also cook pasta or ramen in it. So, very nice. Nice modeling there. It's going to fall. Fall for you. Fall for your mom. I am your mom. No. <laughs> We're weird. It's, it works. It's, yeah. it's nice. We're awkward. We do head bobbles. And I feel like we could convince people we're siblings. Cousins, maybe. You tell us. Could we convince people that we're siblings? Not twins. Not twins, no. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>